Um, a, a good week, a good weekend for you. In the end, qualifying race was okay. The last three laps weren't the best. First moto was okay, but you came out far in that last moto, so you must be really happy with how you ended the weekend. Yeah, I'm really, really happy. We then after Argentina, we found some really good things on the bike, and and now I feel comfortable on my bike. And, and actually, I'm super happy. Uh, I think just two more GPs for. To, to get there, to get in my best level, and 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 then we are ready. And in the second moto, I would say you still looked a, a different rider compared to the first moto. Did you change anything on the bike, or was it maybe just mentality? No, it was just more mental because, uh, like I said, I've been testing a lot. I've been trying many things, but I've not been uh, riding the same bike for for a long time. You know, so actually every session I was improving because I was discovering more the bike and and finding the limit of the bike. So. Yep, I'm super happy. And Kai was obviously, he's been very fast all season actually, so to, to pass him and, and win the moto, that must feel really good. Yeah, for sure. Uh, Kai is, is doing a really good season. Um, at the moment, I think he never went out of uh, top two, uh, so it's, it's really a good score at the moment. But, I mean, we are many riders that can fight for the win and um, just to do everything good, like take a good start, good time practice. And we will be there. And is it a bit of relief, a bit of weight off your shoulders to win your first moto this year? Obviously, I wouldn't say it was a disaster or anything like that, but you weren't maybe at, at the level you had last year. So does it feel great to, to, to get a moto win so early in the season? For sure, for sure. Because uh, this moto win, win means a lot for me. Because I went to I went through a complicated winter, not, not really smooth like I had last year. Uh, so, so it was important to me, for me, uh, actually, uh, have those type of confirmations. Yes. And so this model for me was really, really important and, and shows uh, to myself that I can be there, I'm fast, and I'm, my physical condition is not on top, it's not the top, but it's, it's there. So everything is, is there, we just need to uh, connect all the points and then we will be there. You said there it was a complicated winter, could, could you talk a little bit more about that? Uh, yes and no. Just didn't find the right setup straight away, okay, and okay. that took a little bit okay. too long. Uh, and miss, I, mi- I missed some training, but I'm now I'm now ready, and uh, and it will be fine. And obviously, your MX2 World Champion last year, unbelievable season. How did you feel coming into the season this year? Because obviously, everyone's talking about you. You're the guy to beat, being the reigning champion. Yeah, I felt pretty good. Uh, not so much pressure. I mean, after Argentina, I went I went on with. 7 and 5 or 8 and 5 something like that but I was not so worried I was I was okay uh, this, is, this was uh, what I could do today and I did I took some good points and, uh, and that's it but you know uh, I didn't felt also before Tour of Argentina that I had to win I had to show that I was a champion you know that I was I was champion I showed already last year now uh, it's, an, it's a new season, it's a new year, and it will be fine. And obviously you're an Italian living in Belgium. I think this is your second year living, living in Belgium. What's it like living there? Obviously the winter is very, very tough, racing, or riding a, a snowy llama. So it must be quite tough, but I suppose having your girlfriend and your little dog Turbo must help. Yeah, for sure. Uh, it's, it's helping quite a lot. I mean, life in Belgium is quite, it's quite different compared to Italy. Um, especially this winter was really tough because we had so much rain, so much, and when it was not raining, it was like minus seven, minus eight, so it was freezing. So it was it was really tough. Uh, but but actually, I try to enjoy because I'm living my dream. I'm riding for the best team in the paddock. Uh, I'm living my dream. I'm super happy. So yeah, it's it's and also with Ellen and with Turbo, it's everything more easy. And I think you're a good role model for riders. I mean, when you were racing the EMX 150 championship. Did you ever think back in those days you'd be a factory KTM rider and a world champion already at this young age? You've quit no, quite the journey. No, actually, no. I was was what I was dreaming and what I was working for. But in the life, not everything that you dream is is gonna happen, you know. So it's um, I'm really, really happy about about how everything is going. I'm super happy and and I'm living my dream, like I said. Perfect. Thank.